Our next uh, programming project is laboratory exercise um, M11. And uh, it's called um, Extended Precision uh, Techniques. And it is the second part to explore integer arithmetics and continue using extended precision numbers uh, and experiment with integer multiplication and division. I'm again uh, uh, just uh, using the copy of uh, one of the previous projects, Laboratory M09. Uh, so we can continue using um, input-output uh, library and display computation results. Uh, so first we begin looking at uh, ways to multiply numbers using uh, x86 assembler. And by the way, I uh, first thing that we should check is that when it gets loaded here that uh, it is in 32-bit um, mode x86. So in general, multiplication is more complicated than the addition and subtraction uh, for uh, these two reasons. Multiplication very easily overflows because the results often require double length results. So multiplication of two 8-bit numbers requires 16 bits to store the result if you use the instructions to um, compute uh, multiplication of two numbers. 16-bit numbers requires 32 bits to store the result and subsequently 32-bit numbers require 64 bits to uh, store the result. And of course 64 bits in x86 um, uh, platform uh, have to be represented actually by combination of two 32-bit registers to get the 64-bit going for us. So the second reason is that multiplication of signed numbers are treated differently compared to multiplication of unsigned numbers because sign result depends on the sign of the upper ends, right? Because for instance, uh, if we multiply um, uh, two negative numbers, we will get a positive result and vice versa. When we multiply positive value by negative value, again, the number will be negative. All right, so there are, um, therefore, two sets of um, instructions to deal with multiplication and division with respect to sign and unsigned numbers. So uh, for sign multiplication and division, we use I multiplication and I division instructions, and these are for unsigned uh, uh, numbers. So let's take a look at uh, multiplication. So first of all, this instruction, as we discussed just now, is unsigned multiplication for unsigned numbers. So this instruction multiply uh, allows um, to uh, multiply uh, 8 bit or 16 bit or 32 bit operands uh, to multiply them by AL, AX, or EAX. So, therefore, instruction format is such that it uh, uh, uses only one uh, operand. And uh, the single operand is basically the multiplier. And this will be our multiplicand, depending uh, which. Uh, uh, which uh, uh, which um, uh, data type we're using here, which can be 8-bit register or 8-bit memory, or 16-bit register or 16-bit memory, or 32-bit register and 32-bit memory. Multiply by, uh, so therefore, um, for example, uh, register, 8-bit uh, register will be multiplied by the corresponding 8-bit register AL. If this is a 16-bit register, it will be multiplied by AX. And uh, there, and subsequently, 32-bit register will be multiplied by EAX, which is also 32-bit. So this is how these three correspond to uh, what the multiplicand is going to be used. So this is our multiplicand, and this is our mu multiplier. And so the result of multiplication is uh, for 8-bit register multiplied by another 8-bit register or 8-bit memory is going to be in 16 register AX. So let's bring up just the picture of, uh, uh, 
of general purpose registers so just to give you an example is is that if if we use uh, if we take for example a uh, register cl right here right and we're going to use it as a 8-bit uh, multiplier it will be multiplied by register al that's just just part of the format of this instruction right so this is a is going to be our multiplicand and the result will be stored in register ax right here this is where the result is going to be and the result is like two times larger than the original um, data type so al and cl are 8 bit and this is 16 bit so that's the idea finally um, so you can you can review these um, these ideas and if we use e, um, uh, anything that's 32 bit for instance we could uh, try to multiply register ecx right here this register ecx uh, we can try to uh, here right so we can we can multiply this register ecx it will be multiplied um, implicitly by the value. Uh, the multiplicand will be um, expected to be uh, in register EAX. Okay, so this entire register uh, EAX will be uh, the, the second operand for multiplication. And the product is going to be 64-bit value stored in registers EDX and EAX. So essentially this register EDX so if I kind of redraw this next to EAX, right? So if I just redraw uh, register EDX right next to register EAX or like this, so this will be um, uh, register uh, EDX um, uh, will be uh, combined with EAX altogether. This will be 64-bit result, and uh, register EDX will contain the um, higher uh, part of the 64-bit result. In many cases, uh, if you expect not to overflow the 32-bit size of the result, you can just ignore the idea, just, just totally ignore that there could be something also in register EDX. In fact, uh, uh, a C and C++ compiler usually basically just, just sort of like ignores this part and gives you the result of multiplication from the result in register EAX. So this is again sort of um, uh, responsibility of the programmer to choose the appropriate data types to um, to uh, apply um, multiplication and expect it not to overflow. But uh, you can always uh, do additional checks in the higher part because the result of multiplication is always going to be double size the original data types of the multiplicand in multiplier.